Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at why is disk cleaner again. It's been quite a few years since I've updated my video. It really hasn't changed any, but it's a nice program for removing a bunch of garbage off your computer that many other programs don't, much more in-depth. You have your uh, common cleaner, so if you want to run through this real quick, you can skip most of this stuff because it's kind of weird, but you take your common cleaner, hit scan, take your advanced cleaner, select your hard drive, hit scan, slimming system and again you're going to give this a minute to run and as you can see you can also grab your window download installation files installer baseline cache help files and wallpaper if you should check them so the potential here is 750 megabytes on a relatively clean install with not a lot of junk on it one downside to the program as i mentioned it's got a couple of weird things is I'm on an SSD drive. I'm yet to see why Disk Cleaner realize that uncheck it or offer any kind of tweaks for your SSD drive. For example, using trim, that would be kind of handy. Uh, again, another one of the little weird things. It's got this assistance. It's this E. Maybe one of you guys knows what this thing is. I went there, it looked like a pretty crappy website. You have your settings, suggestion and feedback. Uh, and that's everything from newsletters to auto run to excluding um, different cookies, etc. Customizing your rules, not too tough. Most of you won't play around with this too much. There's that stupid website. And so basically that's it. So you go common, advance, scan, slimming, remove, ignore. But if you're just looking to clean more stuff out. So the number one thing I get from people is how does it work compared to CCleaner? And once again, you'll never hear me bash CCleaner. It is a solid, safe, conservative program. If you really need to clean up some extra hard drive space, CCleaner is much is a way to go. It's more conservative. You're not going to have any problems. Now, that said, I've never had a problem with Wise Disk Cleaner either. So I tend to run it over CCleaner for me personally. However, people who don't know a lot about computers and just don't want to take a chance. I, I do lean them towards CCleaner. So there's 745 megs. I don't remember what we had here. Another 750 here, so 1.4 gigs. I'm going to give this a scan real quick. It's not going to come up with much. Maybe uh, a fairly clean install here with a couple things added in, so it shouldn't take too long. It's probably just going to dig up anywhere from 30, 40, 50 megs. So we're in a 1.4 gig range. So while that's running, let's do a quick analyze with CCleaner. And of course, with CCleaner, you can get CC Enhancer. I did a video on that recently, and that'll add a ton of files to this as well. So if you want to, if you have CCleaner, you don't want to add something else. That's another route for you as well. So as you can see, CCleaner has 172 megs, and that is with everything set on by default. So 172 megs versus 1.4 gigs. So as you can see, well, we'll go to 1.5 now with 105 megs. So and it's also very very fast. So You'd be surprised how much more stuff you can delete with Wise Disk Cleaner than you could with CCleaner as an example. So you also have a scheduler over here while this is running. And you can go weekly, you can go monthly, when idle, at login. I'm a, you know, this is another one of those things. I'd like to see a bi-weekly. I'd like to see people do that by default. I think daily, when idle, etc. is too much. You don't need to use your hard drive that much and beat it up. But bi-weekly, I, I like bi-weekly. It's just personal choice. I'd like to see somebody add that in. Select your day, select your time, and turn it on and you're done. One of the oddities with it is, if you want to edit your schedule, it's, it might be up in here. I haven't looked. Let's see here. I don't see it anywhere. Check for updates. Nope. So, best I can tell, unless I missed it somewhere here, you have to shut your scheduler off to get back at your settings in case you change your mind. Not, not a big deal, but it was a little, you know, it's a couple of minor things this could use a little bit of work on. Maybe they'll catch this video and consider some of that stuff. So there you go. Once again, pull another 750 megs out of here. And again, you can see it goes pretty fast. So you can't beat the speed on it. So if you just want to clean out your drive, you'd think that uh, pulling 1.4, 1.5 gigs of files off your computer would take forever, but it doesn't necessarily. So, And that's about it. We're running four and a half minutes, a little longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to do the CCleaner comparison for those who ask. Please take a minute to subscribe. The download link will be in the description below if you want to try out Wise Disk Cleaner. I always recommend the portable version so you don't have to install it, but that's up to you. The link is It'll say download author site, download author site portable. It's up to you. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all the new subscribes, and we'll see you next time.